Um, what were the assumptions and perceptions that initially influenced and guided your thinking about the criminal justice system? And did mm -hmm. those evolve over time? When I first started, I think I looked at crime um, way more black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, very right, wrong, boom, it's over. Mm -hmm. um, and that absolutely evolved over time because I think as a judge, what shaped me the most was those 10 years in the trial court. So the first thing I did as a judge was to go to all the places that I thought touched criminal law. Mm. Um, so I went to a prison, I went to a jail, I went to a mental health facility, I went to um, most popularly known as halfway houses. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it was incredibly helpful for me to not only go there and see the places, but also mm -hmm. to meet the people. And then as far as the evolution of looking at things as black and white, something mm -hmm. done out of revenge, mm -hmm. while that person might be doing something horrific, mm -hmm. they think they're right. Mm -hmm. Do you see what, I, because mm -hmm. they feel like they're getting retribution or, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so it isn't necessarily so black and white. Mm -hmm. What's so interesting about what you said from what you said about going to the different institutions to also thinking about the influences within people's lives and what you would perhaps taken for granted, social context matters. Oh, 100%.